Hey everyone, uh, this is Charles with American Nautical, and in this video, I'm going to show you guys how to update your Ectis charts uh, for your vessel using our software, Spica eNavigator. So, to do the update for the Ectis charts in our Spica eNavigator software, what you're going to want to do is open our Spica software application on your computer. With the software open, what you want to do is you go to the top left where it says Show. And then you click on where it says charts. And if you have a, a chart updates available, what you're going to see is this button here in yellow. And that indicates that there's a pending uh, Ectus chart updates that need to be downloaded in the software. All you have to do is click on the yellow button right here. And that'll start the download of the Ectus chart updates. And you can see here we have a little progress bar right there. Once the chart updates are done downloading within Spica eNavigator, the yellow button will turn to blue, indicating that the charts are update, updated. And you can see here it says up to date and we have a check mark indicating that all the charts are updated. Once you see that check mark and the yellow button is gone, what you're going to want to then do is plug in a USB stick or CD into your computer. And then go to where it says export for Ectus, this tab right here. Then you're going to want to click browse. And then you're going to want to select that uh, transferable media location. Here we have it here, my USB is my E drive. So I click on that. Then I hit OK. And then once you've selected the drive, the uh, external drive, then you're going to want to hit export and then ABCS. Once the export is complete, uh, you can verify it by going to the, um, the drive where you've exported the charts. So if I go here to my USB drive, you can see here I've got all my charts right here. Uh, we have the permit, which we need to import into the Ectis. This is the permit right here. Always remember the permit.txt file that gets loaded in the Ectus first, then the charts from the ENC root folder. Well, I hope you guys have found this video informative. And uh, if you guys have any questions uh, about this process, please feel free to give us a call or drop us an email. Thanks for watching.